Strength Analysis of Ship Constructor Structure. We will consider an example of the lift transporting operation of the unit as a whole structure during the shipbuilding process. The unit is being slowly lifted with vertical tethers holding the structure in four places with special brackets, not shown, welded to elements of the structure. Let us create for the purpose of finite element analysis a special 3D model of the analyzed unit using ship constructors command mlink. The 3D model includes all structural components such as frames, decks, hull, etc. Firstly, we should create a library of the materials being used in the analyzed structure. Let us assume that we have already made the necessary material library and it is plugged into Autofem. Properties of the material Now it is necessary to create a set of objects for finite element analysis. Turn on the option of integration between ship constructor and Autofem. Add all parts to the set of objects for FEA. The system retrieves the list of parts from the ship constructor database. After receiving the list of available parts, the system is checking for clashes between the bodies. The system has found body clashes in the 3D model and offers to correct them. The system is now correcting body clashes. The system is obtaining the 3D model from AutoCAD Ship Constructor. There are erroneous parts in the structure. For some reason it is not possible to get their geometry. Let us remove these parts from the set of objects for FEA. Obtaining the adjusted geometry. Now the system tries to get the geometry of each part from AutoCAD Ship Constructor. This process can take a long time if the structure contains hull-like parts. During the process of retrieving geometry, Autofem is obtaining all the necessary information about the structure. To be able to represent the 3D model in Autofem preprocessor, and carry out its finite element modeling including applying different boundary conditions and setting up statements of various physical phenomena. If the system finds non-contacting parts it offers to run the command diagnostics of 3D model. This command allows us to see the unfixed, disconnected parts of the structure. Now let us create a finite element study. Select the type of study as shell study based on facets of 3D solids and adjust parameters for automatic selection of facets.
If the user has the license for Ship Constructor integration module, it is possible to run an automatic process for creating the FE study based on plate finite elements. The system selects facets of sheet parts as a base to create a calculation model, transforming the solid 3D model into an equivalent superficial 3D model. The user should manually add hull parts of the vessel into study, just clicking on the internal surface of each hull part The system automatically selects all facets of each hull part and adds them into the study list. All necessary parts have been selected. The system retrieves the thicknesses of all sheet parts directly from SC. A set of special tools helps to verify and adjust the thickness of parts. A set of special tools helps to verify and adjust the thickness of parts. Now we can create a finite element mesh. The system creates triangular finite elements. Finite element mesh is created. If the system finds unfixed parts, the study diagnostics is run. The user can exclude the unfixed parts from the calculation without removing them from the study list. Let us verify the thickness of hull parts. The thickness was read from the SC database. Let us verify the materials of parts. We can see that materials were read from the ship constructor database. Let us now create the boundary condition, acceleration, to simulate gravity force. Now we should define the restrictions applied to the structure. We should select the restraints along Z-axis to simulate the supporting tethers during the lifting operation. The system has special tools to facilitate setting up the restraints on multiple edges of the surface 3D model.
we should select the start and end ribs of the edge to define restrictions to all intermediate ribs of the edge. Now all is ready for the study solution. Run the command solve. Because the structure is not fixed in space, we should use the option stabilize the unfixed system and specify the value of stabilization. Start the calculation. During the solution process, the system generates and solves the finite element equations. At the end of the solution process, we can see the obtained results appearing in the tree of studies. Firstly, we should explore the results, displacements. We can see that the structure is deformed, as expected, though some sheet parts of the vessel hull are separated from each other. Now we can analyze the safety factor. Let us adjust the color scale settings to give the result more contrast. We can see the zones of the structure that are most stressed are close to the lifting brackets. Estimated values of the safety factor are more than one, an approaching danger level, so strengthening of the structure is desirable at these points. We can display the animation of the deformation process. We can slice the structure to reveal the result inside the 3D model. And lastly, we can create a report in HTML format to save the results of the solved study and share them with customers, customers or colleagues. The report contains all the necessary information about the solved study.
Thank you for watching. Please find more information at our website www.autofemsoft.com.